Bharani is a highly materialistic worldly nakshatra. It is a sansari nakshatra. But sansar means not world. Let this be very clear. Sansar means the repeating wheel, the same repeating pattern. So even if you leave your wife and you go to Himalayas, still it is the same repeating wheel. You are not out of it. You think that you have left your wife. You think you have left everything behind. But you haven't. You are still a part of that same wheel that goes on repeating again and again. Who knows? Past life also you may have done the same thing. So it is sansar, the repeating wheel, the same pattern. And nobody is able to get out of this sansar. You will be able to get out of this sansar only when you start bringing more and more awareness to your being. Then the old patterns can be changed. That is why it is said that life goes on repeating mindlessly until you become mindful. So Bharani is such kind of sansari nakshatra. It is a materialistic nakshatra. It is ruled by Venus. It is a nakshatra that is happy in enjoying the many pleasures of this human life. In this podcast, I will share more on Bharani Nakshatra. What happens when a moon falls in Bharani Nakshatra? So let's begin. Bharani is a beautiful Nakshatra. It is a highly sexual nakshatra. The person is much inclined towards experiencing the many pleasures of this human world. A bharani person is very straightforward in love matters. If he loves you, he will not run around the bush. He will just say those three magical words, I love you, and will expect a quick response from you. Being a Bharani, the person is highly passionate in love making and also has great intensity when it comes to completing a certain project or work. The person born with moon in Bharani may go through multiple relationships. Happiness from marriage is rarely seen with this placement. Two marriages or multiple marriages may happen especially if the person has an afflicted Venus in the birth chart. When it comes to Bharani, life is like a poetry. There is a rhythm, there is a story, there is a twist, there is a romance and there is a love in this poetry of Bharani native's life. These men and women are not logical fellows and so they appear more alive more beautiful and more happier. To them, love means the magic without logic. It is always fun to befriend a Bharani nakshatra born woman or man. I personally like Bharani. One of the most beautiful part of Bharani nakshatra is that they are not backstabbers or backbiters. Whatever it is, they will say it on your face and so rarely will you find a betrayal from a person born in Bharani Nakshatra. In a Bharani born woman's chart, if Venus is very powerful and well placed and Mars is strong, then such a woman indeed is a beautiful woman who easily can make a man go weak on his knees. Such a woman has a great sex appeal and it is very difficult to ignore such a woman considering the kind of beauty and immense sex appeal she has. 
One great gift of Bharani nakshatra is that a woman born on Bharani is generally found to be fertile and conceives much faster and so chances of becoming pregnant is more with moon in Bharani. A woman born with moon or Venus in Bharani nakshatra is always found to be 100% fertile and generally succeeds in becoming a mother. In fact, young girls and young women having Venus or moon in Bharani nakshatra should be careful in their sexual relationships. They should take the necessary precautions because this placement can make you pregnant very easily. Similarly, young boys or young men having moon or Venus in Bharani nakshatra should take necessary precaution while engaging yourself in a sexual relation. As Bharani is a nakshatra of high fertility and you may just end up making your girlfriend pregnant. Many men who cannot sexually satisfy their bed partner consult a sexologist. In other words, these kind of men are addressed as impotent. However, if they worship Bharani nakshatra, then they may overcome their impotency since Bharani is the epitome of sexual power. Sex is necessary because without sex, a new life cannot arrive on this planet. After all, we all are born out of sex and so to condemn the very source of our existence is being foolish, being stupid. It is a very strange world. You are born of sex, you will live for sex, your children will be born out of sex and sex is the most condemned thing, the greatest sin. How is that possible? Sex has become more and more attractive because of its condemnation by the priests. The more you hide something, the more you censor something, the more you condemn something, it becomes more attractive. It is a pure science of psychology. Bharani nakshatra is represented by a clay pot or womb that contains Shakti, the divine feminine creative power. And so this nakshatra is the only nakshatra that has immense power of providing fertility. And so usually you will never see a childless woman or a barren woman with this placement. In fact, Venus in Bharani gives great potential for childbirth. And when Rahu or Moon or Venus falls in Bharani, then the woman is too much interested in becoming a mother and enjoying the experiences of motherhood. Bharani nakshatra is like a beautiful princess living in a mighty king's palace. The princess is Venus just the way Bharani is and the king is a warrior, a Martian just the way Aries sign is. It is also a great irony or the way of nature that all the three nakshatras of Venus, Bharani, Purva Falguni and Purva Shadha are found in their enemy signs because Aries ruled by Mars is enemy of Venus, Leo ruled by Sun is enemy of Venus and Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter is also enemy of Venus. And yet, all the nakshatras of Venus dwell in these three signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Never challenge a man or a woman having a moon in Bharani nakshatra, for they have the courage to fight back reminds me of a wonderful story. It happened once, a great warrior returned home and was shocked to see his daughter with her lover. The warrior could have killed his daughter's lover then and there itself, but he decided to follow the customs. According to the customs, it was not fair to kill someone without a fair trial, a fair chance.
and so the warrior said to the young man tomorrow morning you will fight with me take this sword and come tomorrow morning if you win my daughter is yours else you are dead the young lover did not even know how to hold a sword he was a poor farmer he had never been trained in swordmanship he said sir although you are following a convention and respecting even a poor man like me and giving me an opportunity still this is for you just a game i don't know anything about swordsmanship at least give me 2 days so that i can go to the greatest master who lives in a nearby monastery he is a zen monk at least i can go to him and learn something about this so please give me 2 days to have some clue the warrior agreed he said you can go and if it is needed you can take few more days but get disciplined i will wait for you the young lover went to the great warrior the zen master the zen master said even years of training will not help you your lover's father is just second to me in the whole country you cannot hope to compete with him my suggestion is this is the right moment to fight the young lover could not understand he said what kind of puzzle are you giving to me this moment is the right moment and he said yes because you have one certain thing your death now more than that you cannot lose your opponent has many things to lose his daughter his prestige his respectability as a warrior he is a great landlord all his money his mind cannot be total while he is fighting but you can be total you have to be total just a moment of unawareness and you are gone you have to be totally alert this is the right moment don't bother about any discipline you simply take the sword and go The young man came back within minutes. The great warrior said, "Have you learned anything?" He said, "There is no need of learning anything. Come out of your house." And the way he shouted, "Come out of your house!" The great warrior could not believe what magical change has happened to his daughter's lover. As he came out, the young lover according to convention bowed down to the warrior the warrior bowed down to the young lover that is how it is in japan part of their culture even with the enemy you have to respect his dignity his humanity his divinity then the young lover started hitting the warrior knowing nothing about swordsmanship the warrior was at a loss because where any expert would have hit the young lover would not hit because he had no idea he would hit somewhere where no expert would ever have hit and he was fighting with such totality that the warrior started moving backwards and as the warrior started moving backwards the young lover gathered more courage he was moving his sword without knowing why to what purpose or where he was hitting and since it has been decided that his death is certain now there is nothing to worry about all worries belong to life soon he cornered the great warrior behind there was a wall surrounding the warrior's garden he could not move backwards any more he was so afraid of death for the first time in his life and he said wait you can have my daughter you can have my properties i am renouncing the world i am becoming a monk he was trembling with fear even he could not understand what happened from where did this courage come from where this totality come from where this awareness has come but it can be only in such special situations that without any discipline just the situation can create so much of awakening in you courage comes when you fight for your life when you fight for your survival when you fight for the love of your life 
when love is true you will fight even though you have never fought with a sword in your hand what takes years and months to learn sword fight love can teach you without any training that's the power of true love it is more powerful than electricity venus is all about love and bharani is the most romantic nakshatra as it is ruled by venus and is placed in the adventurous romantic martian sign of aries we will now see the results of bharani nakshatra in four padas pada 1 this placement that is moon in pada 1 of bharani nakshatra gives birth to a highly creative person the person is highly intelligent person with this placement generally does extremely well in studies however one significant point is that this person longs for love without love relationships he cannot survive to him love is like oxygen he constantly needs someone with whom he can enjoy the many pleasures of relationship this is a very playful placement person is of playful nature a good sportsman is also born with this placement this is an excellent placement for making a career in administrative field such as being an ias officer or a senior manager or a ceo or a coo many people with this placement attain higher positions in their career this is one of the best placement for a bharani nakshatra native when it comes to choosing a career that the native can either go for management studies or become an artist in fact this is a good placement for modeling acting and performing on stage overall a positive optimistic and a playful person is born with this placement pada 2 person born in pada 2 of bharani is a good critic these people are very detail oriented they like to analyze all the details of a certain project or work the quality of doing excellent analysis enables them to become professional analyst in the it software industry or they also become good film critics these natives are very health conscious however they have a tendency of arguing and this nature of arguing often leads them into troubles they are often misunderstood these fellows are intellectual beings they follow their head they follow their logic and because of a very sharp intellect they earn very well in their life often these fellows are found to be pet lovers these folks like to have good conversation if you have a girlfriend with this placement then your phone will always remain busy because she just loves to talk and talk and talk overall this is a fine placement you find a friendly talkative analytic logical person who likes to have cup shop over a hot cup of coffee once when i was driving i read a sign board outside a coffee shop it said much happens over a cup of coffee when you are with these fellows then i am sure much can happen over a cup of coffee many fall in love with these fellows because they like what you talk they resonate with your ideas and they are amazed to see the way you analyze everything however these fellows can be a big turn off for those who are followers of the heart because these fellows are too much in their head and as you all know the heart can never agree with the head overall good placement for materialistic people it brings good money and the person is found to be service oriented career as a business analyst or any field where good analysis is required is good for these fellows news media digital media print media is also good for this placement 
Pada 3 This is one of the most sexual placement person is very much interested in experiencing the many dimensions of sexual life someone who takes keen interest in understanding the kama sutra an excellent deal maker this person can do well as a sales manager or a businessman if venus is well placed in the birth chart and mars is strong then the native enjoys marital life and receives abundance of sexual and emotional satisfaction from his marriage partner. Such a man is often found to have a good appealing personality. He has all the skills and talent to attract a woman as well as a woman with this placement is also highly appealing and can easily attract a man. So making a girlfriend or a boyfriend is not difficult with this placement. Excellent placement for an artist. Natives with this placement can make a career in the field of art, such as acting, singing, dancing, designing. It all comes naturally to these natives. A good surgeon is also born with this placement as well as a good businessman is also born with this placement because doing business is also an art. Pada 4 Person may go through many tragic events. Unfortunate placement when it comes to matters of love. Person often faces many challenges in relationships. This is a placement that can lead to self-transformation. It is a wonderful placement for spiritual progress. Suddenness is one trademark of this placement. As a result, the person goes through several shocks and surprises in life. This is again a highly sexual placement. Rarely will you find a person who remains a celibate with this placement. Sex seems to be a significant part of their life. Person does have a lot of sexual energy. At the base level of awareness, the person may remain stuck in enjoying the sexual pleasures of life. While on the higher level of awareness, the person may slowly move beyond sex and transform the sexual energy into spiritual energy. This is possible in case of evolved souls who are initiated by their guru, their master. It all depends on the overall quality of the chart. This is a placement that gives extreme results. Either the native will be the last or the native will be the first. There is no middle ground for this placement. There is no place for mediocrity. This is a good placement for career in military intelligence, in FBI, CBI, CID, basically good for investigation, good for occult subjects and good for artists. Sudden fame or sudden rise to power is possible with this placement. Overall, Bharani being a nakshatra of Venus, the native primarily is a materialistic person who may take interest in spirituality but likes to have all the material comforts in life. If the horoscope is of an evolved soul, then such a person can maintain a good balance between spiritual and material side of life and thereby achieve a steady, satisfying progress in life. The deity of Bharani Nakshatra is Goddess Kali and Yama, the god of death. Since Bharani is the Nakshatra of Shakti, that is feminine energy, it is closely related with the cycle of birth and rebirth. Yama, that is the god of death, plays a significant role in enabling the cycle of rebirth. Because without death, how will you be reborn? From a spiritual perspective, death of all your illusions, death of your ego, death of your learnings and notions is what leads to your spiritual birth. Jesus addresses this as a spiritual rebirth, a stage 
when you are reborn in our hindu religion also we have the same process which is addressed as a dvija in hindu religion we believe that when a brahmin or a kshatriya goes through the upanayan ceremony that is the initiation ceremony then they are regarded as a twice born dvija means twice born to put this in more light dvija means second birth which is also addressed as the spiritual birth nowadays this upanayan ceremony has lost the true purpose because during the old times after the upanayan ceremony the boy was generally sent to the monastery where he was trained in all arts and sciences of those times in short he remains totally committed to his guru who becomes his guide for the rest of his life remember the first birth is through the mother and the father the second the true birth is through the master the guru hits hard and deep within he bores inside you to your utmost depth and will not rest until your ego is completely melted that is why the second birth the rebirth the spiritual birth happens through the guru the master the sacred tree of bharani nakshatra is amla or indian gooseberry it is said that in india when a woman becomes pregnant she often likes to eat amla or the indian gooseberry fruit since it is sour bitter in taste so you see how the dots connect bharani signify fertility pregnancy and the tree that is sacred to bharani also bears a fruit that is sought after by a pregnant woman this is how the dots connect feminine energy always loves sour taste imli amla is sour by taste but woman just loves to have it it is very natural since the taste of venus which signify woman is also sour if you want to receive blessings from this beautiful nakshatra of bharani then offer fresh amla to goddess lakshmi and you will never fall short of money because goddess lakshmi always loves the fruit amla the indian gooseberry i humbly prostrate before this most beautiful venusian nakshatra of bharani i think every man is happy when he is blessed with a wife or a girlfriend having venus or a moon or even rahu in bharani a nakshatra of charm prosperity and fertility bharani will always bring much happiness and warmth in your life these natives love children and they always make sure that they have a big fat family of many children playing singing dancing and bringing the much liveliness in your home in your life love to all men and women born with moon or venus or rahu in bharani nakshatra continue to make this world more beautiful more colorful and more joyous for we need the warmth and the love and the caring that bharani brings to our beautiful planet mother earth jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम